everybody and welcome to a uh, tutorial video okay Puh. I can't English right now but we will be learning how to make an outro for any given thing or video if you want a YouTube outro if you want an outro this is the easiest way to get it I think the fastest and you learn a lot from it too so the first thing you want to do is open up your browser your Google your Chrome or whatever and type in Microsoft Expression Encoder. And you just enter in that, you just enter that in. I'll put all the website names in the description so you can just easy click on it. But you, the very first one should pop up. It says download Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. And you click on that, it will start loading and then it will open up the Microsoft page that has the download. All right, all right, it's loading still. All right, yeah, so Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, and just select your language here. If you're not English, you can do Chinese, Japan. There's some simple languages here, but I'm English, not English, but I speak English, so that's what I'm gonna choose. You click download here. You click this, and it should download right about here. It should appear. Uh, yeah, okay. Encoder X EXC. So that's the installer. You just wait for it to be done and then you open it. All right, so now that it's done, we can click on it and it will open the installer. Then you just type in your password if the admin is blocking it and you wait for it and it should appear as extracting files. So that's how you install this. It sued here, something more. Blah, blah, blah. After a while, this will pop up and it will like start doing setup, loading stuff, and I don't know, but you just wait and it will soon open its program. Okay, now that it's done, this will appear and it will set up, it will tell you the setup, change with the features, you can like change the features, repair broken features, you can do anything, but we're just going to cancel it for now, and you have chosen to cancel setup, and it shall appear around here in your start menu, if you open up your start menu, it's here, Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, and you just click that, it'll start to open up, and soon you'll see this uh, you will see this pop up and then you just click transcoding project silverlight project or live broadcasting project is not what we need to do right now you can learn that later in another video but this one we just need to use a transcoding project so you click on that it will take a little bit just to open up the like the program the job the expression encoder all right so now it opened up this and this is what we need to do Next thing you want to do is go back to your browser and you click screen type oh, excuse me screen castomatic.com. Now this will just be in the description. Again, you can just click it easily and you go to this website and it has something that's crucial to making your outro. All right, so you can you can download it or you can just click start recording and it will appear a recording software and all you have to do is go to um, you can use any painting software you can use Microsoft paint it yeah so you just click start recording and you can record uh, no wait okay I'm wrong sorry do this first you open up paint.net or whatever painting software you use you can Microsoft paint anything it doesn't actually matter but I use paint.net so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna click uh, you just like you create a sort of background for your outro like anything you want just like something like this like with text don't forget to like and subscribe check out other videos your skin according to what like game you play what stuff you do if you play like Call of Duty or something you can put 
guns or something. But I do. I mostly do Minecraft, so I just put my Minecraft skin here, and this is just a uh, background. So you save this image, and you move these things out of the way. And once you have this, uh, once you have this software here, you can just click start recording, and go back here and drag the little thing to match up with your picture and you record it for like 15 20 seconds for how long you want your outro to be but after that you go back to your expression encoder you have your video yeah and sometimes the video you have to select it to save in an AVI or a WNV with the recording software uh, so that it will format into this this only ex accepts uh this only accepts like windows media files and only this kind of stuff so when you finish the video uh here on paint.net there's an option in the website for recording that you can just you can just change it to windows media or avi or wmv and then once you're done with that you can click up here on your microsoft expression encoder click file click import and then you can import any video so I'm going to import the video that I took for my intro so uh, it's here somewhere um, just a second it. I think it's this yeah and soon you just wait for that to come no that's not it I'm sorry <laughs> All right, it's this. Yeah, okay, so this is the video. This is the thing that it just, just goes for about 20 minutes. It's not really anything at all until you put the overlay in. So normally when you open it up, it will be in encode. You have to change it to enchance, enhance or whatever. And then you click add overlay. Then you select your other video, like example, some of the videos that you have done, uh, like you one of your YouTube videos, but you might have to open up Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I'm actually doing a project right now, but you can open up Windows Movie Maker. Maker, you can put in your video by doing this. Okay, so example, this is my channel. Take, if you want to take a video from your channel, or you can get it off your own computer, you can just go here to um, Online Converter. Like, it's gonna come in just a second. And, uh, no, I think it's called just, I type in Convert to WMV. And, here we go this website also this will be in the description so you can click on that easily after you put your video into here you can like choose a file put your video in and convert it into WMV you go back to expression encoder you click add overlay and then you add in your video like the overlay so it's gonna it's gonna appear um, over, yeah, over your original video. So you can just move it around. You can drag it anywhere you want. You can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it anywhere you want, and you just move it around. And after a while, you just click play, and uh, it will play. It won't be very good quality, but as you save the video, it will be completely fine. So after that, this is just how you make the video, and you click encode. To encode the job and after you've encoded it I don't need to save this because I already have one after you have encoded it just open up your library and you can search your library you can search expression encoder and this uh, this file will appear and you just click output and your videos will be there according on what time you made them so wait after you've made it, after it's finished encoding, it should appear here. All right, I don't know what happened. Oh jeez. 
Okay, so you just open it. And... Should work. All right, so this is gonna be your outro in the end. So that's how you make an outro, guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe. If you're not feeling like subscribing, then go ahead and click that like button. It's really great, it's really awesome. And oops, I actually cut there. But anyway, subscribe, dudes. Yeah, that was awesome. That's how you make an outro. It's really easy, it's really fast. It doesn't take long at all. I saw a video about this and I simplified it made it shorter and it's really easy and whenever you just need to make an outro just do this it's really awesome you can make outros for your friend or anything but that's all i got for today so i'll see you guys next time in another video goodbye